Hello, my lovelies. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of April 2020. All right. Your first card here is the Knight of Swords. Aries, uh, I see you guys going into the month of April determined, very focused, um, being a little bit of an intellectual. This could be you looking into situations. Um, it could be you looking into uh, the minute details, the, the most smallest of details when it comes to decision making and when it comes to how you communicate for the month of April. Now, your challenge here is the Ten of Pentacles. So this could indicate uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're actually very focused and determined in trying to obtain some type of financial stability. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be taking on uh, new things. So for some of you guys, it could be making money on the side. It could be looking into ways of making more money. Uh, I definitely see you guys very focused and very determined when it comes to your finances. Now, the obstacle here is be careful not to overspend Aries for the month of April. Uh, try to save up as much as possible. And really what they're saying here is uh, if you're looking to start a new business or if you're looking to invest um, money into a, you know, um, a business or some type of venture, uh, make sure to be prepared. Don't just jump on it. Uh, whatever is you'll quickly start to see uh, the results. Uh, if you don't see it taking off or you don't see it uh, progressing, uh, then be more mindful of how you spend or um, what you put in because you may not, if you rush into it, you may not get very quick results, okay? Now, the Three of Wands is here, and this is signifying for some of you guys uh, looking into expansion. So again, I think that for the month of April, uh, growth and advancement is going to be very important for you guys. You guys are really taking on um, this very strong energy of determination and focus, wanting to make something happen. Uh, perhaps your views have changed recently, Aries. Uh, perhaps, you know, life, everything that's going on in the present time, perhaps it kind of, you know, strengthened that passion or that desire to want to uh, grow, to want to obtain or to find some type of financial stability. And I, I do see that um, for some of you guys, it could have been coming in contact with someone that's really inspired you and really has pushed you not in any, not in a forceful way, but like their passion and their desire really inspired you. And you're very determined into, uh, like I said, finding some type of financial stability or what you would consider your financial stability. Now, for others of you, you may be dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, as I do see the King of Pentacles here. But this could very uh, very well be your energy, Aries. Um, and that's initially what I was going to say. Uh, the determination and the focus is almost giving me like a, a, a Earth energy, kind of Capricorn type of energy where they're all business. Uh, that's definitely what I'm seeing for you guys. So again, a lot of momentum when it comes to your finances, Aries. If there's been a bit of struggles or worry, you got to let go of that worry. Stop doubting so much. Uh, really trust this process because, again, if you guys are being pushed towards like doing side jobs or uh, finding ways of making money, that's just spirit trying to align you to what it is that you really want, which is ultimately to find that financial stability. Now, you also do have the death card here. So there's a major transformation. For those of you guys that ha are currently single, I do see commitment. I do see marriage. For some of you guys, it could even be uh, with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I do see some type of commitment or some type of progress in regards to this connection. As we do have the Hierophant here, the Death card, and the King of Pentacles, which is ultimately stability, not just in finances, but all, also uh, in connection with relationships. Now... What's coming towards you is the world card. So this is the epitome of the energy that I was sensing, uh, which is changing your perspective on life, changing your perspective on perhaps what you're wanting to achieve now is something that you didn't think about in the past. Uh, something has definitely changed your way of thinking. 
And this is ultimately to, to your benefit. This is to the best of you and for you, Aries. Now, you also have the moon card, and this is energies currently surrounding you. So you may be dealing with a partner or someone that you're very interested in that perhaps you're wanting some type of long-term connection, long-term relationship. And um, again, I quickly see that uh, changing very quickly because we do have the death card here. Now, with the world card, you're entering, or I should say you're concluding a cycle of uncertainty. You're concluding a cycle of doubt or perhaps not even knowing uh, what destiny lies ahead. That fear, you're quickly shedding. You're quickly releasing that energy of, of the fear of the unknown and you're embracing it because I see you guys very passionate, very intense and focused. Now we have the devil card here. So yeah, we definitely have Saturn energy. Uh, the devil card could represent a Capricorn, like I said, but more than likely, I feel that the devil card is here as a symbol of the material realm. So again, a lot of achievement for you, Aries out there, very focused and determined, highly encourage you guys to really put the, what's that saying? Put the, put the pedal to the metal <laughs> because you guys are quickly going to see not only a flow of abundance, but stability in every single aspect of your life including relationships, Aries. Now, finally, wow. Finally, we have the final card here. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Aries, you have met your match. Um, I feel that for a lot of you guys, those of you guys that are single, in April, you will be, uh, this person will be coming into your life. And this is a person that is very self-sufficient, very motivated. Um, if you can see here, both these cards are all about abundance. You see the greenery behind. Uh, they're both holding uh, financial stability. They're both holding um, the desires to manifest something that is long term, that 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 is, you know, that is concrete, basically. And again, I feel that you guys are definitely, for those of you guys that are single, you're definitely meeting your match. This person is going to inspire you or perhaps expose you to a different type of lifestyle a different type of view, uh, perception of life. Um, this is definitely amazing energy for you guys and as well, because we do have two royals and it is of the same suit. I feel that this, this union ship is definitely going to bring out the best in you, Aries, and you're also going to bring out the best in them. For those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone, I do see this progressing into something long-term your doubts, you're throwing them out your window and you're going for it, Aries. And this is definitely going to manifest into something long term. So very beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.